Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls Ultimate Sorcerer's Guide, everyone. In this episode, we're gonna be taking on the gargoyles. So, let's just get going. I have a plus three rapier, but I have plenty of spells. I don't think I'll be needing much help. But you know what? I'll summon Solaire, maybe. I usually like summoning Solaire. Because he's a cool cat. I don't know why I just said that. I'm stupid. He's a bro. He's a sun bro. And that's all that matters. Bam! Oh, come on. I keep forgetting that my spells don't one-shot these guys. Alright, let's just... There's one of those boulder knights here. You know what? Let's see what Heavy Soul Arrow can do. Oh, one shot them. Now that's impressive. And I got a tight night shard. Okay, sorcerer, you wanna have a battle of the magic? Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna win this one. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Now we'll just have to wait for the buff to run out. By the way, I'm using Heavy Soul Arrow because it's not going to be that useful in the Gargoyle fight because the casting just takes way too long. It hasn't worn off yet, but I think it should soon. I might as well just shoot that guy. Which is stupid because now I cannot... Oh yeah, I can see that guy. That buff you really want it gone. I think it like increases their attack power by some ridiculous amount making these hollows extremely dangerous you know what I think the easiest way to take them out is use fire bombs actually oh come on bear off okay this is probably the only place where I, where I find this uh, fire bombs really useful are they not as clustered together as normally so this, is not, this isn't what I wanted to do you know what I'll just stab them this works too <coughs> this approach and no channel or strident I wasn't hoping for one that's like I think that's probably the, the rarest item in the game I don't know I think that and the symbol of avarice are the two rarest drops. You know what, that's not a good idea. There we go. And I couldn't get the backstab or repost. There we go. We're gonna rescue. Oh, I'm just getting so lucky with these titanite shards. I think I have like three of them now. Let's see, yes, which means I can upgrade my rapier to plus four. Now that's good. I think there's a humanity here. Alright. And we're gonna get Lotrek out. So yeah, just open it. Thank Even though this guy is an yes. asshole. Sincerely. It's not like you couldn't tell you that by his voice. Of I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get back down here. Heal up. And I don't know, should I kill the gargoyles? You know what? I'll go upgrade my weapon. Then I'll go upgrade my Essus flasks, because I have a Firekeeper soul, which I need to use. And then we'll go kill the gargoyles. And hopefully I won't get invaded until then. A bunch of Slumbros showing up. I think a plus four rapier should be plenty to take the gargoyles on. 
I'm going to be using my magic mostly. All right. I'm resting at these bonfires just to recharge my spells. Well, you need blah blah blah. Let's see reinforce weapon. Rapier. And I can get it to plus 5, which is even better. I plan on making this thing into a magic rapier. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my weapons. I want to use, I definitely want to use the Moonlight Butterfly Horn. But the problem is that that deals pure magic damage. So I'll probably need a backup weapon. I'm gonna make, I think, maybe I'll make an elemental weapon. Cause making elemental weapons is actually useful with sorcerers. Cause, whoa, this is not good. This is not good, this is really bad actually. No, not heavy soul arrow. Crap. I got lucky there, he could have just ran in and destroyed my ass. <coughs> Alright. I'm just gonna take this elevator before I get... Oh, thanks. That happens when someone else kindles a bonfire. Near you. Anyways. What I was saying is... The Moonlight Butterfly Horn deals pure magic damage. So I'll probably need something else. As a backup. Because there are enemies mainly in... Uh, the Duke's archives that are strong to magic. So, I'll probably make an elemental weapon, the shuttle, I think. A fire shuttle. I've never made a fire weapon. Because the thing is, most weapons scale either with dexterity or strength. And sorcerers won't have much of either of those. What am I doing now? Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade my Estus. God, I'm all over the place today. So yeah... If you upgrade to an elemental, it removes the scaling, which isn't a big deal with sorcerers. Alright, let's get our reward. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> I mean, come on, is there anyone who cannot tell that this guy is evil? Just by his l laugh. Anyone who begins their laugh with K, a K, you know that guy is gonna be bad. Alright, let's just get up. We're gonna kill these gargoyles. Ah. Up the elevator we go. <laughs> I actually fell off this elevator once. Uh, I was an idiot. I basically stood here and I pressed the attack button and I forgot that with a rapier your character steps forward. And I fell the fuck off. Oh, come on. No. Oh, yeah. See, this is why you want to wolf ring. If I didn't have that, he would have staggered me out of my casting. But with the wolf ring, I was able to tank through his... I was able to tank through his attack. Whoa, three of them? Now that's a new record. It's probably not, but whatever. I didn't want to do that. God, I'm really, I really am all over the pa place today. And this wolf ring helps out so much. I recommend any class that starts out with zero poise. I think that's the wanderer, the hunter, the sorcerer, pyromancer, deprived, cleric. Any of those classes should get the wolf ring a ASAP. And we're gonna get Mr. Sombro to help us. We could summon Lotrek too. He's down there, I think. You know what? 
Why not? No, you know what? That's gonna be too... That's gonna be too much. These guys are already gonna be way too easy. Alright, gold pine. Let's go. <clears throat> Walking like a badass. Alright, bring it on. So the basic tactic for this thing, if Solaire decides to yeah, do something, is I'll just shoot spells at it while Solaire tanks the gargoyle. And this should be pretty easy. The second one is already down here. Without Solaire this would be a bit more difficult, but not impossible. Basically, you have a massive space available to you. So, don't be afraid to use it. Alright, and if we manage to keep Slayer alive, we're gonna get a reward. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Now, that's what you call Jolly Cooperation. Got the Gargoyle's Halberd, never gonna use it. I also got the... Uh, I also didn't get the Tail because that's not useful for me. But for keeping Solaire alive, we get a Sunlight Medal. Now that was pathetically easy. If I remember back to how much trouble I had with these guys on my first run, wow. Let's get up here. And ring and bell number one is down. I almost said ring number one, but that's that doesn't make sense. Alright, so the bell is rung, let's get down. <coughs> Alright. I think you can actually survive this drop. But you know what, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's talk to Oswald. I am Oswald of Clarine, the part. And I'll have a friend. For me, a warm welcome. Come at thou to confess, or to accuse, for indeed all sin is my domain. Alright, I'm basically talking to him to get the gesture. That's my favorite favorite gesture in the game, probably. No, actually when I think about it, I think the look skyward, that one's pretty good. Not many people know about it. I'm gonna definitely get that one. I love doing this after I kill a boss or an invader. No, actually, with invaders, well, it depends on what type of invader I get. If I get an asshole and I kill him, I'll do this. But if the guy is honorable, bows and everything, I'll give him the bow. We're gonna go back to Firelink, actually. Because now we have 11,000 souls. We can buy more spells. Alright, let's find Griggs. Just dropping in. Alright. 
Now we could get great soul arrow, but that costs a bit too much. We're gonna get magic weapon and hmm, I guess oral decoy. That's a useless spell. But it's cheap. You know what? I can get fall control too. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Yeah, fall control. That's a bit more useful. Alright. Alright. Yes, that is indeed a bonfire. Thank you for telling me. And we're gonna level up intelligence. And vitality. And that's gonna be fine. Okay, let's see. We're gonna... Deotune uh, one of those soul arrows. Alright, this is what I wanted. And this is why I want the second Sorcerer's Catalyst. Because basically how... Oops. There we go. How magic weapon works is you have... Oh, come on. Oh well, then I'm gonna have to cast out of my offhand. So this is magic weapon. It's basically like a resin, except you have five uses and it recharges at bonfires and it deals magic damage. It's actually pretty useful. I don't know how much. I think I dealt like 90 damage without magic weapon. Okay. So that's magic weapon. Fall control I'll show off later. And I guess I'll show off oral decoy, which I'm never gonna use. Although, actually, now that I think about it... So, Oral Decoy, basically, you cast it... And it makes that little noise. I think it's called... Demon Sprank in Demon Souls, or something like that. So we got this guy's attention. And you do that. He's gonna... Be distracted for a while. It's actually pretty useful for getting wet backstabs. But... It doesn't work on many enemies. It works on these guys and that's about it, I think. It works on the dogs. I think it doesn't work on black knights and stuff like that. So that's why its use is limited. Although I might be wrong there. I don't know, don't quote me on that. Fall control, as I said, I'll show off later. So that's gonna be it for today. In the next episode, we're gonna take out Capra, probably. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. This was a pretty successful episode. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I'll see you later.